Hello everyone, it's me Dej. Come to y'all with a, another video and today we're gonna talk about my hair. Yes, not this hair, but my actual real hair. So before we get into that, you know what? Let me let me, you know what? Let me just tell you a little shun shun about my hair right here, okay? So this is Boho Twist. Um, the same person I did my Bohemian Locks did this. Her um Instagram name is Goddesses Glow underscore by Shan, I think. I'll probably put her information on the side somewhere like here. But yes, this is Boho Twist. Um, I had this in for like a month. I need to take them out. But you know, if you're interested in trying some Boho Twist or Bohemian Locks or Passion Twist or Spring Twist, whatever, she got you. Okay, she got you. Just saying, if you're interested and you're located in Atlanta, Georgia, yes, go to her. Okay, so back to me. <clears throat> okay, so Big Chop. Why did I do it? Who did it? How much it cost? All that etc 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 so yes i cut off my hair i did a big chop i did it back in november um why did i do it i did it to build my confidence um i just always was attached to hair i had, I had weave all my life uh and i feel like if i didn't have weave or a certain style of my hair i felt kind of ugly and that's a, a horrible thing to say about yourself because um uh, you know what i'm not ugly i'm a beautiful girl um but it's just like with that my weave i just feel like you know I'm, i didn't feel as pretty so i needed to get over that and so to do that i was like you know what i'm gonna cut my hair like my like i'm, I'm gonna do that so like i said to build confidence in because my hair fell out when i was taking down another protective style and i'm happy that i cut my hair uh because i really like my confidence isn't where i want it to be at yet but it's higher than what it was just because I took the step to cut my hair and to wear my natural hair. Not that I wasn't wearing my natural hair, but to wear it short. To have nothing attached to it. Now, right now, yes, I got something attached to it. But, like, I had this in only for a month. So, before then, I was just rocking my hair from November to uh, to mid-January. So, yeah. So, it cost $70 for me to get my big chop. I went to someone on Instagram named Steph the Barber. You probably heard about him. Um, he specializes in shortcuts. So, I went to him to get that done. Um, I was happy with my results. I didn't know what to expect. And, um, yeah, I just knew I just wanted something different. And so, I got me a short little cut. Like, I would let you guys see the pictures and all that. I also vlogged it a little bit to a certain extent. So, you guys will see a vlog. You will see other people's opinions. You will see my opinion well, you probably won't. I'm, I don't know if I put my opinion there or not. But I'm telling you my opinion right now. Um, I like it now to this day. I like that I made that decision. Um, I was kind of like, eh, in the beginning, like, hmm. Well, I'm about to rock it. It's gone. You know what I mean? Um, what else, you guys? Um, that's pretty much it. So, also, um, I did get backlash from cutting my hair. Uh, some people did not like my hair. Um some some people had to grow on them but for the people that didn't like my hair for them to um it kind of bugs me like i got called what, a dyke a boy uh people thought i was gay they didn't they just looked at me like this they didn't know how to respond to my hair because it was something they wasn't used to seeing from me and for someone one person in particular stated their opinion how they didn't like it several times and that really did knock my confidence down a lot and um but you know what? I just have to get over that because like every I've seen this person every day. I couldn't stop seeing them. Like they would say how much they hated it or didn't like it, and it's just like okay, and like why do you have to tell me that every day? For what? So, but that's what that person chose to do. Um, it is what it is. I'm happy I still did it. So that's all I gotta say about that. And you guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like, thumbs up, comment subscribe uh, click you know just one button click mm. and yeah so let's get into the video hello everyone it's me Dej coming to y'all with a, another video and today this video is going to be different this is like my hair journey video you guys so this is the last time you will be seeing my hair with some little hang time you know what i mean like it's gonna be gone i'm excited but i'm nervous at the same time like i never done this before all my life i've been wearing weave so this is gonna be interesting yeah last time my hair is going to be like this right now i have conditioner my hair i'm conditioning it hey 
Hey y'all, I'm back looking whooped as ever. I'm on my way to my hair appointment, my big chop. I'm like so nervous, scared, and excited all at the same time. Like y'all. I don't know. I just hope it looks good. I hope my hair looks good. Um, I hope I am. It looks decent enough to where I can pull it off. Because, you know, not everybody pull off short hair. But we're going to make it do what it do. I'm going to someone that is um, well known on Instagram. So, with that being said, I hope my results are the results that I see on Instagram, which are really good. It's supposed to be top of the line, top of the line quality. So, for my big chop, which is, it's not, to me, it's not a big chop, but I guess it is a big chop. Because I really don't plan on him taking that much hair off the top of my head, just the size, but we'll see. I paid $70. And that does not include a wash. So, hopefully, my hair is fine like this because the instructions I was gave to do on my hair prior to coming were very distinctive steps. Um, I tried to detangle my hair as much as I could, so it just dries up and it's gonna be dry and rough feeling since I couldn't have leave-in conditioner in. So y'all, I am here right now. I just arrived to my destination. Yo, my appointment, was at, my appointment is at 4.30 and I thought that I was gonna be late because I kept circling around um, the, the place trying to figure out where it was at. Yeah, I'm scared, y'all. My stomach bubbling, so I got shit. Okay, you guys, so I had a long day. Um, this is pretty much my hair cut. Um, I have to get used to it, honestly. Um, I'm not going to show everybody my haircut. I sent certain people my pictures, but I'm, I need to get a reaction from everybody in person. Uh, so with that being said, the first person that's going to see my haircut is my boyfriend. And I'm going to show him. So I'm going to record my reaction. Well, his reaction to my hair. Because I already know. Like, he didn't even really want me to do this. So, But I think my hair looks fine. Looks okay. I have to get used to it. So, yeah. I'll be back. Let me see it. I just showed it to you. I like it. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. You would tell me I'm pretty and I'm not even pretty. Huh? I tell any girl they pretty when they not pretty. So why should I believe you if you say you like it? Because I like it. I would have said you look pretty if I didn't like it. <laughs> You're lying. But I know I'm not. Glenn, no lie. You for real, you really like it? Mm -hmm. I just got to fix it up a little bit. You like it for mm -hmm. real? Let me see the. You do it in a ponytail or whatever. <laughs> Your mama gonna be pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna yell at me. I'm not gonna show her to tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Hey. What's my hair? Yes, I wanna see your hair. Let me see. Taking off my wig. Oh, it's dry now, like it. but. You don't like it? I like it. I have to play with it. It's too cute. It's different. 
Mm -hmm. And when you um, color it, it's gonna be so cute. Look how thick this shit is, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, little thing right there, though. I but. know, but yeah, because I keep, I'm supposed to be aligning the picture, but I'm just like, no. Nah, that is go. too cute. I like it. I do. I just got off of work and I got to pick my brother up from the bus stop. So I was like, let me record his reaction. So, because he doesn't know I want to go do this. So I wonder what he going to say. You know, kids nowadays, they mouths are just so reckless. So, yep, let's see. Hey, Trey. Get me off the video. I'm not playing what you give me. Stop. You like my hair? Little boy. Get me off the video. Trey, shut your mouth. Ten. Nine. Do not record me. Do you like my hair? Yes. You do? It looks just like yours, don't it? I got no more, um, mohawk. Now, woo! I'm the process of coloring my hair. And I'm about to, um... Show y'all my mom's reaction. She just got home. Oh my gosh, she gonna be so mean, so negative. But it's okay. Trey, come on. She's gonna yell. I'm gonna make sure the camera stays on my face because if I record my mom, she's gonna be really mad. She don't like being on camera, so I'm finna just walk out. You gonna hear her voice, bro. Hey, mama. Like my hair? No, you cut your hair. Yeah. Oh. See, it told you. Oh. Yeah, that's my hair now. Oh, dang, no, man. That shit fucked up. That is really ugly. Ugh. So, I already knew my mom's reaction. <laughs> Negative. Lord Jesus. She said it's ugly. And she said it like a boy. Which is expected. I would look like a boy if whether I had a fade or fade or this. I still would look like a boy. Cause it's short hair. So but yeah, that was her reaction. And I'ma just end it here because she's gonna keep saying the same shit over and over again. I'm going to just end it right here because she's going to keep saying the same stuff over and over again. But yeah, y'all. Trust. I have to get used to this as well. This is something that I wanted to do for myself. Um, Starting over a big job. Doing it the right way. My way. So. But yeah. Okay, you guys, as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.